Hi, it's Daryl again, and this is a Rainbird sprinkler controller. There's approximately 60 to 70,000 underground sprinklers in Johnson County. We don't know how many. We just know that in the summertime, our usage shoots up to over 100 million gallons a day, whereas in the dead of winter, we utilize 38 to 40 million gallons of water per day, every day of the year, except for in the summer when people get in watering. Let's take a look at this sprinkler controller and learn how to program it. It's pretty easy. And it, I wish it was put in a better spot, but right now it's on auto, so it's gonna do what it was told. In the A program, if I turn this controller to the start time, it says that it's set to go at 6.30 a.m. And it's set to water on what days of the week? It waters on the odd days of the week. So it's three and a half times per week that sprinkler goes if it's set on auto. auto. It runs for six minutes in zone one, four minutes in zone two, three minutes in zone three, and four minutes in zone four. All the way through, it gives it a nice little drink of water if it's hot out. Right now, it goes three and a half times a week and it starts at 6.30 in the morning. That's how it's set up. However, some of these, if you look at this, you'll see the second start time is off, the third start time is off, the fourth time is off in the A program. Let's check the B program. The fourth is off. The th oh, the first program goes at 2 a.m. The second is off. The third is off. And the fourth is off. So right now, this sprinkler has an A program that's set and a B program that's set. Now, that might be one of the reasons this homeowner's bills are no larger than he wants. To make that go away, you have to remember 11.59 p.m. And I'm just gonna push these buttons a few times to make 11.59 show up and it says off. All digital sprinklers use 11.59 as off. That's the way they're set up. Let's look at his C program. So it's all the way off. The one thing that it takes for a program to work is it takes a start time, minutes in the zone, and a day of the week. If you pull one of those off, the program doesn't run. The record, or one of the record water bills I ever dealt with was a $2,700 water bill. A homeowner had set his sprinkler to go 56 times a week. And he was out the door at 6 a.m. to go to work, home from work at 9 o'clock at night. He never knew that his sprinkler was running all day long. Um, and a $2,700 bill got his attention, as it would anybody's. So this, right now, we're going to leave it back on its auto as we found it with the A program up. He does have a rain sensor on this thing and you can see that it's on its bypassed. So if it rained and the sprinkler controller was set to go off, this homeowner would be watering in the rain. We're going to save him some money just by turning it back on. So if you have one of these in your home, the best thing you can do about it is to learn how to use it. It's connected to your pocketbook because we bill and we collect our bills. Um, if you need help, get help. You can find good tutorials online or at rainbird.com or at hunterindustries.com. All the manufacturers have tools to help you set this up properly.